Hey everyone, it's Dave with Alaskan Homesteading. Today I have my first video using our new tool here on the homestead. I went and picked up a Branson tractor from a guy here locally who had it for sale used. Had it checked out by our local tractor dealer and they gave it a clean bill of health. So now I am going to set about using it for the first time to really do some task. Let's get started.
get the log on here pretty easily. I want to start with a nice small one. This one may be too far gone to actually mill. It's got a lot of uh, decomposition on the outer surface of it. Some fungus growth here. So I might stick the blade in it and it might turn into nothing. Or uh, I might be able to get a couple of boards out of it. Right now I'm focused on just practicing with the mill, cutting a few cants, making some blocking if I have some wood like this that maybe maybe the core of it is good, maybe there's some something solid and sound in the middle that I can use. But all in all, not too bad. Good tool. Excited to learn more about how to use it. So I'm trying to get this log lined up right now with its tallest dimension vertical first. That locked in here. And let's see if we can cut a little bit of wood off of this. started. 25 foot pounds. okay looking cant. There's definitely some soft stuff out here at the edges. I might trim this down by a half inch 
to get rid of this sort of slightly rotted part. The heartwood seems to be okay. It's not too bad, not too soft. And as I said, I'm looking to make some blocking right now because with the tractor I've got implements and I want to keep the implements kind of up off the ground a little bit when I'm not using them rather than having them sitting in the dirt. It'll be useful to just take some of these lower quality logs and turn them into something that's basically disposable. Well, the most beautiful and perfect cant it isn't, but I got it to six and an eighth by six and an eighth and uh, I'm satisfied with that. It's just going to be holding up tractor parts or whatever, so exact dimensions aren't really a concern for this. But the saw is still working well. I'm getting to where I need to add lubricant to the tank. Uh, I've kind of gotten through the half hour break-in period on the blade, and everything looks really good. Everything's working. I think I finally figured out what I was doing wrong with the log clamp. So just to demonstrate what I was talking about, slide this over with it all the way up, and you're really trying to push that, that clamp really far into the log, and you're going to end up with huge divots, or in my case, it just wasn't really securing it for whatever reason. I think it was kind of camming out or something. So what I've started doing now is bringing it about halfway over and then pushing it in. It still makes an indentation, but it doesn't take very much force to clamp it and it stays nice and secure. So that's, that's what's been working for me. Now I'm gonna to need to go ahead and get this end squared off. Again, it's kind of just an aesthetic thing because these are just going to be blocks to hold up equipment, but I'd rather have it tidy and orderly. So, might as well just do it. There's a lesson. Start on the short side so that you get your cut in a place that's going to make sense. Redo all that. As I'm a novice sawyer, I am also a novice carpenter. And the, the many things I don't know about carpentry, all the tips and tricks that people with actual experience know how to do could fill volumes. Oops, I bumped the shutoff switch. question is, ladies and gentlemen, does he learn? Why, well, yes. Sometimes he does learn. 
we are going to make our first mark on the shortest side. Could I use a speed square instead? Sure, I even have a couple of them. But this is the square I keep at the mill. So this is what I'm using right now. Does it really matter? No, not really. Again, not an expert carpenter. So, just doing what works for me. And, is there a reason to mark all four sides? No, not really. Mostly I'm doing it just to make sure that the lines I'm making are square, that they line up with each other. Kind of concerning, this thing's already transferring paint off of the bunks onto my wood. I don't think it should be doing that. I'm going to have to send Woodland Mills uh, an email and ask about that. They're pretty responsive with support requests. This mill is you know, just a few months old at this point. And most of the time it's been out here, it's been covered with a tarp. And I've only really milled you know, one, two, three, four little logs on it. So I don't think, I don't think it should be giving up paint so easily. Maybe they can send me some of the correct color in a touch-up kit. So I want to protect this from rust. And I think that paint is the way to do that. All right, well, I'm going to retire for the evening. I think uh, I've done enough with the tractor and the mill for the day. I got the little project done that I wanted to get done, which was making a cant that I can cut up and turn into blocking for implements and so on with the tractor. Um, I'll do a little bit more in-depth video on the tractor in the, in the coming days. I think, um, you know, everybody loves big toys like this, and uh, I'm certainly no different. Uh, I got very excited about the prospect of getting this piece of equipment and I got um, what I think was a, a pretty outstanding deal on it. Even the guys at the tractor store said that uh, the, the deal couldn't be beat so I feel pretty good about it. Um, and of course it should go, <laughs> go without saying the tractor store guys their only participation in the deal was doing the pre-purchase inspection for me. I, I bought this from a private seller so they had no interest in the deal other than the 140 bucks I paid them to check the thing out. At any rate, thanks for watching. Um, I hope that you're enjoying this content. Um, go ahead and uh, and like this video to let me know if you are, and uh, leave some comments if you saw anything in the video that got your attention or any questions that you might have about the projects that we're working on or questions about the tractor or the sawmill. I'm, I'm happy to answer any, any and all questions to the best of my ability and knowledge. Uh, that's what really this channel is about, is sharing what I know and hopefully getting information from all of the people out there that might happen across these videos and uh, learn, learn from what they know as well. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.